Welcome back everyone. So this video is going to cover Chapter 7, Battleship Bay, and of course we're finding all of the collectibles in Bioshock Infinite. As soon as you start this level, you're going to be on a beach, and you'll be facing the collectible and everything as soon as you start. You'll see the strength through leisure sign directly above this red and white carriage. And all you got to do is look underneath it to find the box of foam. So from the last collectible, which was underneath the carriage, we're going to go inside the area that separates the two beaches. So if you found Elizabeth already, you went too far and you need to come back to this kind of middle area. And you'll see it right here against the wall. So you won't have to worry about the next collectible until you come to the area where Elizabeth picks a lock. And then you'll follow her through an office area into this area where she'll throw you money for the first time. And of course you'll get a little tutorial about it so you can't really miss it. From that point you're going to pass the vending machine, pass the bathrooms on your left, and you'll enter this room here. And you'll find the collectible in the basket. So this is going to be kind of a long haul, but from the last collectible, we're going to move in now, past these bathrooms. Of course, these aren't the Watts only bathrooms. If you go in, they'll tell you that you're both going to get in trouble. You'll enter the arcade, and we're actually going to enter the Watts only bathrooms in here. So instead of going up the stairs where your waypoint will lead you, you're just going to go through this hallway, and then take a left inside the men's restroom, and you'll find it right here on this little desk. So from the last collectible, because this one's literally right down the hall from here, you're just going to go out and take a left instead of going back to the right where the arcades are, and you'll see it right here. So from the last two collectibles, you're going to follow your waypoint now to the gondola station, and you'll know you're in the right area. You'll have to come up here and ring the bell. My dog will not shut up, so I apologize. But you'll ring the bell, you'll be attacked by these guys, and looking at the ticketing station, these gates will open over here to your right of where you're facing. And if you come in here and just take a route through the doors, you'll find it on the desk. So this next one is really close to the last collectible, so we're going to go from that location again. But if you missed it, that's where we were just attacked to our left. And we're just going to follow this hallway down and take a left here, but instead of continuing on to the right where you have to go to finish the level, we're going to take a left. So you'll go in here and again you'll see the infusion upgrade on this desk. So like most of the collectibles in this chapter, the next one is really close to this infusion grade one that we just picked up. So we're just going to go up and that's where you're supposed to go to board the gondola. Make sure you go through these double doors first. So obviously the area is kind of distinct looking compared to what we've been looking at in this chapter. So just head down the stairs and you'll see it back here beside the lantern on the little box crate thing. So now we're finally going to board the gondola. And if you haven't picked up like the last three collectibles and you get to this point, you should turn around because it's going to be too late once you get on here and um, proceed into the next area. So just board the gondola, of course pull the lever so you can get to where you're going. And that's going to leave us in this area. Now it doesn't matter if you get off on the left or right, we're going to go to the same area. So just climb the stairs and you'll see the telescope in between these two benches. So that's going to conclude this chapter. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one.